hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it now there is more information coming out about enchanting okay and her family and all what's going on with them okay now i'm gonna say allegedly 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 i don't know these people and i don't know where is you know what is true or not coming out with this whole situation all i know is a lot of stuff is just not adding up at all okay with this whole situation okay y'all now out of respect for the family i did put that other video up saying that you know i cannot be one-sided about the situation we have to think about everything okay um everything the mom and them sad and the boyfriend sad and due to the fact that the boyfriend seemed like he is scum of the earth not not seem like he is okay y'all um who's to say he's not lying about a lot of other stuff that he's saying about the parents okay y'all um <laughs> i'm just saying all right now other people is saying some old stuff about the mama so i'm just gonna put it all out there okay y'all and this is what i do i put out both sides to see you know who seems like um they're telling the truth and who seems like they're lying okay and this is what we do on this page we all put our minds together and we come together in the comment section and we talk about it and and we see what makes sense and what don't make sense okay y'all so um a lot of people they say oh these are allegations these are rumors but like i said before 70 percent of the time sometimes 80 percent of the time when people put out rumors they are true people put out rumors about puff daddy they were true okay y'all people put out puffy uh, 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 rumors about r kelly they put out rumors about whitney houston um a lot of the stuff was true that people were saying okay so a lot of times when you know information is being put out there is truth in that okay y'all so let's talk about some more stuff that's being put out about the family okay respectfully all right so somebody posted this so her mama was allegedly jealous of her is this something that we have not heard before about a lot of people okay i've heard this we've experienced this at some time in people's lives um once upon a time in people's lives you have heard or met or saw that somebody was jealous of their own child we see that uh, on social media we see it you know on a lot of stuff okay so this is not something that you know we gonna just throw out and say oh she ain't jealous of her okay um we've seen stuff like this all right so i don't know these people but this could be true or this could not be true okay um they also go on to say that she used to steal from her etc so this person seems like it's a possibility they they know some inside scoop on uh you know enchanting and her family so she's saying that she used to steal from her now i don't know if her mama smoking her kneecaps off too because family members will steal from each other. I'm going to just say that. Okay? They will do that. Now, let's keep going. She said, um, they go, I don't know, she or he. They goes on to say that she had a life insurance policy on her already. Now, a lot of parents have life insurances. This is what I was telling y'all. When people don't have life insurance policies, people be like, why don't they have one? And now they're saying she did. So, that's a good thing that she had one. Okay? Um, she said that this person goes on to say that, um, they didn't inform nobody about the funeral service. Now I was feeling some type of way about this. Okay. I wanted to talk about this at first, but I didn't, but I, let's talk about it now y'all. Okay. Um, she had a lot of friends, a lot of friends. Okay. And it tripped me out the fact that, um, she had the funeral so fast, they put it together, and nobody came. Now, word on the street, they had some type of release stuff for her. But as far as her services, her family act as if they didn't want to invite the friends. Now, in the family's defense, 
just say if and i'm asking all the ladies okay we're gonna we're gonna do it from a mama bear perspective okay y'all if you had a child and they were in an inner circle of people that you did not like that inner circle and just like i told y'all i did not like the people that she was around as far as um for worth taxes so is it a possibility that the mama is feeling some type of way because she don't know who actually took her child out or all was involved in it and she, they could the family could be mad about that situation and it was like you know since we don't know who her friends who her real friends are um uh, forget all of them i thought about that when i did not say anything about it i was like well maybe the family didn't want them to come because look at what happened to you know i, I brought this up kanika jenkins she goes to a party with her somewhat friends and they left her you know, in the hallway, to go both of them to go get her keys, all these lies that, you know, they told nobody ought to stay with her. It only take one person to carry some keys. So if if her if her mother would have gave her a funeral and didn't invite anybody, you know, it would have made sense that, you know, y'all left her. I don't want y'all standing over her. I told my mother the same thing. Okay. I say I don't want people standing over me, looking at me that didn't like me. Okay. I only want people that, uh, you know, that cared about me at, at my service, if I have a service. Okay, y'all? I don't want nobody um, standing over me to uh, look at her. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. So, it kind of made sense that she didn't, they didn't invite anybody because look at all the friends now, the, the roommates, the, all of these people that's coming forth and everybody's looking shady right now. So it is a possibility this is why they didn't invite all of them. But there were friends in her life that possibly were her real friends. So I don't see why they couldn't have came. Because I have people in my life that, you know, I consider my friends. Even if I don't even be around people all the time. I still have people that I could call up and I say, this is my friend from school way back in the day. This is my best friend. I can still say that even though we don't talk on the phone every day and this and that and that and this. But when we come together, this is my friend. So why wouldn't you still have people that you don't that you knew wasn't into this inner circle that she was in, um, you know, previously like that could have had something to do with this. Now she didn't move from different places to different places. You know, she moved from one place to another, then another place, then they moved to Fort Worth. So she had other friends from other neighborhoods. So why still not invite them? You know, this just, that part right there seems shady to me. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? I can't sugarcoat nothing. I, I, don't, I, can't, I don't have time to baby anybody, okay? I know other bloggers is babying the mama. I know other bloggers is babying, you know, the, the boyfriend. I know other bloggers is babying Gucci. I don't have time to baby people, okay, y'all? I will respectfully say something, but I don't have time. And I'm going to give my you know opinion on whatever 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 okay so this is what they're saying they're saying that they didn't inform nobody about the funeral service just had it and went on about the best scream made it up bye okay now word on the street is this is what they're saying as well gucci man wanted to bury her but the mother had already cremated her so gucci man offered to pay for the funeral and by the time that he found out she was already cremated what was the rush? What was the rush, y'all? And like I said, if you think about the date that she was allegedly, they say the funeral was on the 15th. What was the rush to bury her on 666? This is this is where I differ from everybody else. It's not I'm um, going back and forth, but I am going to talk about every detail. And I'm not about to, you know, just sugarcoat it. She passed away by the numbers, y'all. Her manager posting up and, and the new people that she signed with, all this fo 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 stuff, all this one on one, all of this eleven eleven stuff, six 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 stuff was popping up. Um y'all <laughs> I'ma be completely honest with y'all. I think a, a lot of stuff is shady when it comes to all of this, okay? Um I just, I don't understand what the rush was for. Okay. Now let's keep going. Somebody, not sure who, but a family member 
was sent to give Johnny a fake P to the I L L, some street pharmacy stuff, okay? To give her. This is what somebody is posting, okay, y'all? And she passed away. So whomever this person is that's posting this, um, they seem like they are acting as if Johnny don't take any fault in anything. Okay, y'all? This is what somebody just posted. So this is another person that you got a sad eye because how can you say that somebody gave him something and, she, and he gave it to her? And he's saying that people wanted him to give her stuff and she, he didn't give it to him. He didn't give it to her. So to me off the top, just from this one sentence and then coming at the mama first and then coming in here saying something about Johnny, um, he gave her, you know, something that, you know, one of the family members sent. Um, this seems like this could be somebody just jumping on here on social media to try to make Johnny look good. Because Johnny played the the biggest part of it all because she was at his house for several days. He was somebody that was on social media laughing at her um, sickness. And she passed away at your house, which you're saying that she came there to get clean, but ended up taking something that took her out. Make it make sense. Okay, let's keep going, y'all. This person also goes on to say that a family member allegedly kept on insisting that the Johnny guy give her all the rest of the pharmacy stuff, okay? When she wake up, despite the fact she had already passed out, and that if she didn't have any left, he would bring her stuff, okay, y'all? Um, is this a plant? Somebody that, um, I'm just saying that Johnny put in here to defend him. I'm just saying y'all, I told y'all due to the fact that they have not arrested anybody. I think that there could be, um, a serious investigation going on on both sides. There could be serious investigations going on on both sides as far as Johnny and the parents. Okay, y'all, because like I said, and I'm not going to bite my tongue and I'm not going to take this back. If this was my daughter and I went over there and she was passed out or whatever, 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 I would have taken her to the hospital or taken her home so I could see to her. Okay. Ain't no way I would have left her with somebody that was already abusive to her in the past. This part makes no sense to me. For me to come back and drop something off if this is true, because we don't know if this part is true or not. For me to come by and drop something off to her, it makes no sense to me, y'all. This part right here makes no sense. And this is one of the things that they're going to have to find out in the investigation. If the parents or the uncle or anybody in the family actually brought some stuff by there and left her there for this guy to see to her. That's a red flag to me, y'all. I'm just going to put it out there. That's a red flag to me. Okay? Um, the fact that it happened in his house, apartment, and now he, you know, was broke and now he's spending all this money, that's a red flag. That's a huge one. Okay? Now, this person also goes on to say that the mom took her off life support in, in, the, few, in the first few hours. She was on it without even giving her a chance to fight. Now, a lot of people have talked about this. A lot of people have talked about this. But I'm going to say this, okay? Had it been me and th the doctor said that there was any kind of chance of her coming out of this, I would have kept her on life support much longer, okay? Now, you don't know what the doctors were saying to her. They could have been saying that there is no chance, there's no chance in the world she's going to make it. She's really already gone. Now, after doctors told her this, that could have been why they pulled the plug so fast. Because word on the street is she had passed away before she got to the hospital. She was gone at the house. Now, I don't know I wasn't there, but they are saying that this Johnny guy, he let her pass away in that house. He made sure she was gone. This is why it took him so long to call to get her some help. 
Now, another thing that's suspect to me is this guy that she was at his house. Word on the street is the reason why she was at his house is because she was going over there to, you know, um, finesse him. Okay, y'all, uh, it has something to do with the contract, something to do with our music, because he had signed her, you know, had her to sign, you know, paperwork that he was in charge. So people were saying this is why she went over there. And they're also saying that the mother sent her over there to finesse this guy, I guess, out of the paperwork or whatever, 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 so that, you know, he wouldn't be in charge over her anymore. But like I said, why not get a lawyer and just fight him so that he wouldn't get anything else from you? Why not do that instead of going over there to try to finesse him out of whatever, whatever, whatever? That made no sense to me. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense that maybe her parent, if her fa family did go over there to, to, to drop off stuff to him, to give to her, and if her family did play a part in this, I don't know. I wasn't there. But if they did, then it would make sense that they sent her there. it would send her over there knowing that she still has a habit or whatever going on with her and she has to still take stuff even if she was trying to you know kick it okay um it would make sense that you would let you would let it go down while he she, she, she's over there with him so it wouldn't happen when, when she's with y'all okay so that kind of makes sense there what they're saying now another thing that you know is coming out that i did not know before People are saying this. Now, this is a rumor. I don't know this to be facts. Okay? But people are saying that his ex-girlfriend passed away too. Now, my thing is, now I'm really asking questions to people. Okay? What did she pass away from? Did she pass away the same way? Was she with him when she passed away? Because now it's starting to be a pattern that everybody that's, you know, either breaks up with you or this and that and that and this, or have, you know, you know, any kind of entanglement with you, they pass away in your presence. So now this opened up a whole nother can. You got a history of your ex-girlfriends passing away around you. If this is what went down. So now it is, if anybody knows, who is his ex-girlfriend? What's her name? When did this happen? Do y'all have any news reports about this so that I can go do some numbers on his ex-girlfriend? Because now I'm curious about that one too. Okay, y'all? Because this don't this is not adding up. This is weird right here on so many levels. Um, let's keep on going. Somebody also says, didn't let nobody visit at the hospital. She wasn't there long enough for anybody to visit, okay? And from what he's saying, it took the family a while to even get there themselves, okay? And when they did, they sit there a couple hours and they're like, okay, let's pull the plug, okay? Um, so I'm just saying, it can, everything kind of happened fast. All right, y'all? Um, this person goes on to say, put her name under Jane Doe. Her family put her name under Jane Doe? Huh? Wait a minute, y'all. Um... People say she was smiling at the hospital, unsurprised about the situation. Huh? So, you can't believe anything this guy says. He said that the family was not really, um, you know, they wasn't really acting as if they was like concerned about what was going on at the hospital. Now, this person, which could be somebody that he didn't plan it to put this post out, I don't know. They're saying that they were smiling at the hospital. Why would the family members be at the hospital smiling if their loved one is fighting for their life? Something ain't adding up if this is true, okay? Um, this person goes on to say, I believe she helped unalive her daughter. It's just too shaky to me. Everything is alleged, but it just sounds close to right for me, okay? Close to right for me. I don't know what that means. What's y'all thoughts? This is what somebody put up there. So, to me, I actually believe this is somebody that's close to Johnny. If I was somebody to ask me about this whole little post that somebody just put up. Now, people were coming in my comment section saying certain things. 
and saying that, um, you know, don't leave the, the family out just yet, Miss Lowdown, okay? They was basically telling me this. Don't leave them out just yet. It's still a lot of stuff that's not adding up with the family, okay? I didn't say I was leaving them out. I'm just saying, you know, certain things that they are saying about they had a life insurance. A lot of people have life insurance on their kids. They do. They do. I I have life insurance on, on my kids, my sisters, all that. So who wants to be begging and putting up GoFundMes and all of this stuff when somebody pass away and begging other people when you can afford the insurance yourselves? It makes no sense, right, y'all? That makes no sense. And we say that all the time. It don't take nothing but a you know a few dollars to put up every month and pay that insurance. So if something did happen, you can pay for your own family member instead of begging the world for money. This is the same thing I said about um, Shanquilla Robinson. They act as if they didn't have enough money to bury her. The daddy was saying that he was gonna pay for the funeral. So why was the, what was the GoFundMe for? Why was they collecting all of these? hundreds and thousands of dollars of money and what what got what got done the lawyers didn't even go to me over there to the country to see if they could find out some information or whatever so why did they collect all of this money making it look like they was about to you know handle some business and then the sister was bad you know they said the sister bought a car all kind of stuff the money was being spent on them. Mama was jazzy every time you saw her. New clothes, nails done, hair done, everything done, done. The sister, jazzy. Like, this was like, what was, was going on? And everybody was like, what is, where is this money going? The sister was dancing in the mirror when they was getting ready to do another, you know, collection. She in the mirror dancing her tail off. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? You're supposed to be grieving over your sister. But you in the mirror dancing? And you're on your way to ask people for more money. And then when she gets to the place, this is what Shanquilla Robinson's sister did. When she got to the place where they were about to collect some more money from people, she was looking sad again. But, but right before she got to the place, she was dancing and smiling on live. Dancing in the mirror. So this is why a lot of people be, you know, digging and feeling some type of way about certain things. How fast this funeral went, the date, all of that stuff, okay? It's weird. It's so, so weird. She was buried on 666, y'all. Her funeral was on 666, not buried. 666. They didn't give Gucci Man. They probably wanted to come to the service and everything. They didn't give him a chance. Do she feel like the record label has something to do with this? Is this why she didn't want Gucci Man them to even be a part of it or pay for it? Or did they have something to cover up, y'all? Because we still don't know. You know, just because they say they did an autopsy don't mean nothing, y'all. I want y'all to pay attention until they have to do two autopsies for Kim Porter. Just because a lot of people that have passed away in the inner circle of P. Diddy have had to get two, two tests done. Autopsy reporters, the people that do the reports and stuff, have been being shady. Coming up unalived. Okay, y'all? So, it's a lot goes into that. You know what I'm saying? This is why I was like, why did they bury, you know, why did they cremate her so fast? This I said that. I still feel that way. What if you needed a second? A second report. Because a lot of people get a second report. When you're dealing with record labels in the industry... You don't even know if, you know, I'm just saying, y'all, the person that's doing the autopsy ain't connected. That you might find out later that, oh, this person is somebody's cousin. Or this person that did the autopsy report is connected to the record label. I need to get a second report. This is why I said I didn't understand why they, they had to serve it so fast and cremated her so very fast. 
Not to mention, like I said, the date. But as far as this right here that somebody just put out about all of the, you know, the Johnny stuff. I was listening up until we got to the Johnny stuff. When I got to the Johnny stuff and then they're just putting everything on the parents and not putting nothing on Johnny. And he's dancing, he's in the mirror, you know, on live, sitting up there laughing at her and all of this stuff. And then he didn't put paws on her before. Then he has a history of somebody passing in his life before that he was dealing with. You cannot just, just, just go with, oh, the family gave him something to give to her. You don't know if the family gave him something that was going to help her. And he turned around and gave her what he wanted to give her. So they can get paid off of her. Because he running around here acting like he's a celebrity now. So you got to think about that too. But I just wanted to address the new stuff that everybody was, um, that, that just came out. Somebody um, sent this to me. Thank you for sending this to me. But um, to me, this is somebody that knows Johnny and is trying to help clear his name. Because I do believe if the police do their job, the shitika is about to hit the fan. Okay, y'all? So this is somebody that's trying to put some of the fire out right now. And I don't think it's working. It just made you look like you're one-sided in this situation. And this is why I said this. I have to look at both sides. I cannot just say, oh, Johnny did this. Johnny wanted her gone. Da -da 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 -da. I cannot just say, oh, the mama wanted her gone. It is, I don't know neither one of them. But the, the looks of it, to me, I would point my finger at Johnny and Jimmy. This is who I would point my finger at. This is who, I, if I had to get... <clears throat> excuse me y'all like a private investigator or anything like that i would send him straight to johnny and i would send that private investigator straight to jimmy and um virgin records seriously i was thinking about when i did that video yesterday last night about her and i was talking about you know um medusa and cersei and all of this stuff and what happened to medusa and all of this stuff what you know when I was thinking about that and, and, and she was untouched and all of this stuff and then this man took advantage her of, you know, the Greek goddess. This is why she, they turn, she turned into um, Medusa in the first place and for her to have Medusa on her, you know, a tattoo on her and this and that and that and this. And somebody came in my comment section and said she did not have the tattoo, I guess, when she came to Fort Worth. So, um, go figure, y'all. Because word on the street is she was untouched too until that guy, her ex, the one that she passed away at his house, until he took it. Word on the street, he took her innocence. Just like, you know, Medusa in Greek mythology, um, innocence was taken. Okay? And that tripped me out that she ended up being signed to Virgin Records. Do y'all understand that's like clues and threes right there. A virgin, virgin, virgin. That's like a clues and threes. And these are not coincidences. These are not coincidences, y'all. Okay? Um, when stuff like this comes together, it's to give you clues on what and in, in, in take you in certain directions. Okay, y'all? So, like I said, I am not put, letting nobody off the hook. I am not, you know, even though I listen to some people's page, I still take away from it what I want to take away from it. Okay, that makes sense to me. And I still feel like, you know, you know, this blogger is, you know, making it seem like, you know, um, he's not listening to anybody else when it comes to everything. Okay, because word on the street is, I'm going to say this too, this is another rumor that's going around. They're saying that she had been clean for a little bit. Okay, y'all. They're saying that she was trying to, you know, get off of the street pharmacy stuff. And some of her friends were saying that she had, you know, stopped even doing stuff because she was trying to fight it. So if that part is true, which makes sense of why the parents wanted to bring her some street farm, well, not street farmers, some pharmacy stuff to help her kick whatever habit she was on. Maybe she had went and talked to a doctor or something, and they had possibly given her something to help wean her off. And maybe that's what the parents brought her. And it could have been a possibility that this guy that she was at his house took it upon himself to give her what he wanted to give her because he was paid to do this. Okay, y'all. Um, we don't know. 
we do not know and the only way we're gonna know this is you know when the truth come out and is it really gonna be the truth when i'm just saying there have been autopsy reports and i talked about this with um kim porter i talked about this with um whitney houston them daughters and all of this stuff that there were autopsy reports done and then they have to do second ones and this and that and this. Everybody that passed away in the inner circle of P. Diddy and um, the label that he was tied to and helping him out. Um, a lot of people pass away from pneumonia. What are the odds of all of these people passing away from pneumonia? And all of these other people coming up off of them. You know what I'm saying, y'all? When you are connected to something like this and and then, you know, autopsy reporters and all of this stuff um, coming up, passing away right after. And then when you get ready to do the second autopsy, another person did the autopsy and then they did wrote down something different. So this is why I was like, why would you cremate her so fast? That's my problem that I have with it. Why everything was rushed why was she cremated so fast not you know just you could have waited a little bit just so you can find out the truth if you really want to know the truth you know what i'm saying sometimes you have to get a second opinion just like you go to the doctor and you know they tell you something and you like i want to get a second opinion i it's just it's the same way with i talk to reporters too y'all in this day and age when there are um labels does cash in insurance policies on their artists and stuff like that in this day and age when things like this is happening it's nothing wrong with getting a report from two different people there's nothing wrong with that and they can't say they didn't have the money because she left a lot of money she had insurance on her daughter her daughter had money too and, you know, as a parent and something happens to your child, you if you really want to know what happened to them, forget the money, putting it in your pocket. I want to get down to the nitty gritty on what happened. If I have to put up um, a reward for any information that anybody knows, if I have to get a private investigator, if I have to get, you know, two autopsy reports to make sure that this person is on the up and up, I get somebody that totally that nobody knows. You know what I'm saying, y'all? To find, to do this autopsy report on her. So it's just, uh, you know, everybody ain't the same. But, I, you know, if I was in that position and I wanted to find out who, when, where, what, and why, then that's how I would handle things. I'm just saying, y'all. But anyway, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the whole situation. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.